I'm Lori Williams. I'm a mountain wildlife diversity biologist with the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Eastern Hellbender is our largest uh, salamander in North America. If you count body size and length of the animal, it can get over two feet long, almost two and a half feet. Very long lived, uh, over 30 or 40 years in the wild. And we count them as a bioindicator, which means uh, if they are still healthy populations of hellbenders in a waterway, then it's fairly clean water and it's a fairly healthy ecosystem. Today uh, on, in the river we were uh, conducting snorkeling surveys and this is um, just getting a, a several people in the river at once to kind of systematically move through the river upstream. We catch it, uh, we temporarily put it in a mesh bag, uh, keeping it in the water and keeping it uh, cool as we can. We take measurements such as uh, weight of the animal, uh, total length, um, snout to vent length, there's some other metrics of, of size and age. We look for parasites, we look for injuries, any other physical anomalies. We tell if it's a male or female, what kind of breeding condition it may be in. Um, and some other things we've started to do in the last few years, um, we are conducting disease surveillance on these animals, taking a, basically a swab uh, of the, the toe pads and the feet and limbs to detect a fungus called chytrid, chytrid fungus, which is partly responsible for a lot of global amphibian declines. My name is Sue Cameron and I'm a wildlife biologist with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. So there's still a lot that we don't know about eastern hellbenders and this work certainly helps to fill in those knowledge gaps and, and ultimately to help conserve the species. Uh, information that we're gaining from this work includes um, information about population status, habitat characteristics, threats, as well as just health of individual animals and the population. So, so this knowledge, all of it, will, will help us ultimately better protect the species. There are several state and federal agencies, uh, non-governmental organizations, and universities that are all working together to help conserve Eastern Hellbender in North Carolina. Um, some of the leaders in this conservation effort include the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission and the North Carolina Zoo. Other key partners include uh, North Carolina State Parks, the Natural Heritage Program, also the Division of Water Resources, universities uh, such as Appalachian State Universities and NGOs such as Wild South. 